here. Today we will be having a tropical update on an area which is now a major hurricane. It is a category 3 hurricane. Uh, Force 13 has confirmed it, but not the hurricane center just yet. Whenever I looked on the latest update on the intensity models, it's shown they say it is a major hurricane strength. You're not going to be able to see it on here just yet. But for right now, what's going to get started, what's going on out in the Atlantic. This system right here, uh, right now it's still a low 10% chance. This one here, I think it might have got upgraded to 20%. Since it may do something somewhere around in here. So we'll keep an eye on that tropical wave. So let's look into Hurricane Eric. You can see... Looking into the intensity guidance, you can see it is at category 3 strength. Um, seems like we may expect this to reach category 4. That's what the majority of the models show. Uh, let's go over here. Um, you can see right now it's just 80 miles per hour, but I think it's been confirmed it is a category 3 hurricane. So it's intensifying very quickly. Fossey is also... Probably will be expected as a major hurricane as well. That one there will be someone to watch. Right now it's pretty low. So here's Eric right here. Getting close to Hawaii there. So this thing does have a chance of reaching category 4 threshold. Uh, you see what the model guidance track. Most it'll... Stay to the south. In there, uh, the same thing for the other tracks. Um, let's look into Flossy. This one here is starting to get a little bit organized. Seems like we expect this to be a hurricane today. Could be major hurricane by Wednesday. So we'll keep an eye on that. Here's the intensity guidance. You see a few models are taking it to category 3 threshold, while most of them are taking it to category 2. Do we expect this to be, become ca category 2? Yes. Has, I bet this will be, become a category 2 hurricane. Category 3, that is possible. We gotta watch this system fairly closely because, well, it is heading. I'm also predicting that that may head right towards um, Hawaii. So let's look. Let's go to Eric. So here it is. This is normal winds, by the way. So here you go. We got an eye going on. Now this ball is a little bit behind. 62 miles per hour. Yeah, it's definitely way behind. It's, uh, let's look into wind gusts here. You can see that um, it's around uh, over 90 miles per hour. 121, you can see it rapidly intensifies here. Seems like the Euro starts to take a little bit of north here, a little bit. Between the islands, however, it could be fairly windy as well. Uh, and you see it starts to die down there. Here's Flossie right here. Um, not as strong, but you can tell here, it heads right towards Hawaii. See what the GFS suggestion is, okay? It's going to head right towards Hawaii, just from the GFS suggestion. Rainfall accumulations, so the next five days, seems like it's not going to bring down much rain, at least from Eric. Maybe one to two inches will be your highest amounts. Then, uh, when the second system hits, rainfall totals could be much higher. You see, 7 inches of rain, which is a lot. Let's look at the Euro for the next 5 days. Uh, this is from Eric, so it could be a little bit significant there. About 6 inches of rain, that's a lot. And here comes Flossie, here. May miss it to the north, but it does... But they do get some rain out of it, even over here in this island. Even gets 
a lot of rain as well. So basically, right now, Hawaii's main threat is going to be from Eric is heavy rainfall and some flash flooding on a large island. But when the second storm hits, which should have enough time for the flash flooding to probably calm down almost completely before the next one comes in, because the next one could be a little bit more can be more significant. Not much for the winds, but the rainfall, because it could be a direct hit to the big island. So, yeah, on that one. Uh, so, oh, let's see here, I forgot uh, the other two disturbances over here. You can tell there's, there is definitely some tropical waves to deal with right in here. We'll see if the Euro is getting any of this here. Oh, there it is, right over here. So here's the second disturbance from the Euro. Let's go to 5 o'clock, hits those, uh, I cannot remember what those islands are called, but it does hit right towards Puerto Rico, right there. Uh, then moves through the Turks and Calico Islands. Seems like it starts to gain strength as it gets closer to Florida. Does the GFS have that sort of suggestion? I uh, cannot tell where it is. Let's see. We can find it. He said the GFS does not show it at this time. So we'll look at rainfall totals for the next 10 days from the Euro. Um, so here it's its path right there. There is some pockets of rain that could be uh, three to six inches. Like around Puerto Rico, you gotta keep an eye on this. Seems like rainfall is going to be the primary threat for right now. Can you get some damage to winds? You said this island looks like it could hit, get hit hard right there. Those little islands there. I mean, these guys got to watch. Um, you just got to hope that system calms down if it reaches the Dominic Republic. Because that's the largest island out of the rest. And it may be able to calm it down before it gains back strength. And you see, it goes outside of the 10-day outlook. So we'll see what happens from there. So yeah, this is all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick tropical update. If you all did like this video, hit that like button. If you really do like my channel, hit the subscri subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. If you got any questions about... Uh, this tropical discussion or update, put it in the comment section down below. I'll answer you guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next video.